Okay, I thought I'd get out here and get some pictures of this while there's no wind because some people have been asking me about this counter rotating, how to set it up. Okay, you have a pillow block up there. The shaft there is pinned to this the shaft that goes all the way down. Okay, then you have another pillow block here, same thing. Shaft is pinned on the bottom to that shaft on these upper two wings, or I mean the upper wing section here. Um, that's a four foot section. Okay, now you wouldn't have to have this, but it makes it easier to take apart. This is my coupling. So inside here, the shaft is cut, and I have a spring pin through here and just a bolt through the top. A spring pin would be better, but I take this apart a lot when I'm experimenting with it, so I went with a bolt. Um, now, on the lower shaft, consider this one stationary shaft. This is a, a flange bearing. If I get this to turn, see now. That allows this wing to spin the opposite direction on this shaft. So you have two different types of bearings here. Okay, you have the flange bearing here, and now down in the bottom here, you've got the flange bearing. You can set this up different ways, but to me this is the easiest way was to bolt this right to the stator. Okay, so I don't know if I can show this here. My stator has a spacer in between here. And then these bolts are tapped into the stator plate. And the reason I have these nuts on here is there can be some wing movement here. Or if, if, if this isn't, uh, let me back up a little bit here. If this isn't uh, true when it's spinning for the counter rotating, if you can see this, I have this one turned down a little bit to true it up so that when this is spinning, okay, I'm gonna turn this now. So if this top wing section had wind right now, okay, and if you look at the bottom here, you can see that I have that pinned, the stator mounting bracket is pinned to that shaft which is connected to those top wings. Like I said, now this one, this turns this way and this turns this way. If these aren't perfectly true or very close to it, you're gonna have some rubbing here and you're never gonna get it out because of the counter rotation. It has to be pretty fussy. Okay, then my wires are coming off the stator here. They're going into the shaft. Because this turns on the shaft, you know, it's not gonna cut the wires. It goes down through my homemade slip ring here. There's three, three bearings in there. And the wires touch on the inside and the outside of the bearings to go through and into my cord and up to the house. And as you can see here, you got another pillow block bearing on the bottom. So that, that's for the, the upper wing shaft. And like I said, these are rotating on that shaft. They're not pinned to the shaft like the top. Okay. Back up here a little bit. Pardon my paint job here, but this is all still kind of experimental, so as much as I tear it apart and everything, it doesn't pay to get pretty with it yet until it's all kind of done and set. I just widened this out. The frame is five and a half feet wide now. And this is, the wing sections are four feet high, so the whole frame is, I think, nine foot six on the inside measurement and five and a half feet on the inside measurement uh, width-wise. Okay, like I said, there's no, there's no wind right now, so there, I'll give it a spin. I mean, kind of get the idea. And I got probably about, yeah, I'm going to say about two and a half to three inches clearance on the edges yet. Okay, on the frame, I kind of beefed that up a little more too because at certain, at certain RPMs, I do get some some wobble a little bit. Um, actually, back and forth this way, not so much this way. I have this uh, 
the sky wired. You can see that. Uh, you could go all the way to the top with the guy wires if you wanted. Just, that was just kind of a convenient height for me, but that does the job. Um, and uh, I had the pipe laying around, so I used pipe up the sides here. But the square tubing works really nice. Just get get heavy enough tubing for the sides. The cross braces don't have to be that heavy. This is 14 gauge, inch and a quarter, by inch and a quarter, 14 gauge square tubing. Okay. Kind of just want to give you a shot of these wing. These wings are a little uh, different than a regular lens tool. I made them more like an airplane wing. The lens is usually usually uh, more flat on this side here, and then curved. Another thing, I caulked this in here. Uh, I think that's a good idea. It makes it stronger as far as your aluminum. And it seals any water from getting down in between your plywood there. Okay. Try and get you a little better shot of my coupling here. All that is is pipe that fits around a one inch hollow tubing. And I welded some nuts on the side, drilled out one side of the nuts, and put in 3 8 inch bolts so I could tighten it up. Okay. Since I widen this out now, it does turn turn this alternator now but I think I could use a little more air gap I've got this down I don't know if you can if I'm at the right angle here but I got a pretty tight air gap on there um, I can I have that set up on the bottom so that I can open that up if you can see these these holes here I can put I can put bolts in there and kind of fine-tune that air gap and bring it down if I want to. I got to loosen. I've got the, the stator mount. Oops, is made here so that I can get at the uh, the Allen bolts in there and adjust that if I need to. If if it can't turn it, I can open the air gap and make it easier to turn. But I'll get less power that way. Anyway, I just got this up on Saturday and had some wind yesterday. It was charging yesterday the way it is. Um, I can't remember. I think the wind was anywhere from 9 to 12 miles an hour once in a while. Anyway, could use a little more fine tuning on the air gap. It seems like, see, I have a little bit of binding here. That top wing shouldn't turn backwards when I do this. Now, this. This has to be aligned perfectly straight too with this center bearing. If you got any bow in there at all, that's gonna cause you some binding and you're gonna lose, you're not gonna get as much power output because output because it's gonna take more to turn it. So you need to pull a string from the top and the bottom and make sure that you're aligned perfect. If you're not, you have to bend it a little bit or put some washers behind to shim it, whatever you have to do to get that perfectly aligned. You can see right now this one isn't turning at all. I'm not getting enough wind right now out here. Yeah, the one on the roof is. That is a smaller turbine, an exact copy of the lens tool with the square shaped wings, but that's only a three foot wide by eight foot high counting both sections. Oops. Lost my spot here. Oh, here we go. Feels like the wind is probably going to come from the south today. Anyway, hope that helps.